African National Congress needs educated people, especially lawyers. I was offered the part, I said yes immediately, was completely honored to be asked, and then 15 minutes later, you know, panic set in. Oh, what are you doing? Well, we are losing our people, our brothers and sisters. It changed my life. There are lessons that I have been able to extract from reading about his journey, about the way in which he thought about his situation, and the way in which he chose to deal with his situation was an incredible life lesson for me. What are we going to do? So here's a man who has been stripped of everything except his dignity, and he decides to not only to hold on to it, but he also decides that the people who are essentially responsible for taking everything away from him, he is going to, he is bound and determined to understand why they need to do that and to treat them with dignity at the same time. Every fiber of my being tells me that we cannot respond to this violence. The fact that we have the six hours to work with gives us a much larger canvas so we can be more detailed in the storytelling and we can focus in on things that people aren't really aware of. Those people were shot in the back as they ran. So that our storytelling is really about the man more so than the myth. And it's, we've tried to reveal how the man became the myth. Um, so that's, that's one of the nicest parts of the experience because he was v very impatient. He was a firebrand. He was angry. He was frustrated. Um, he was not perfect in, in his youth as a young man. We want to unite our people to build this new South Africa.